two. Sacrifice. Mother. Mother. Ritual. Scarlet. Prayers. Heresy. Hell. Solitude. Sky. Madness. God of words. Adore Tower. us. I don't care. What is a world without furry eye? <laughs> Welcome to back to another episode of the apartment. Uh, this is Billy. This is Don, and we are playing one of my favorite games ever in the world, Drakengard. This this game form uh, was uh, found like one of those. Uh... It's the game that turned Billy into a bloodthirsty murderer. Oh yeah, it's one of those games. It's a game that like uh, it actually shaped some of my uh, worldview, some of my views on uh, on morality and life and everything. Again, I turned him into a bloodthirsty killer. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I love the game so much. Uh, so I've actually, I've played pretty much every one of the Drakengard games, but only a little bit. I've never actually beaten any one of them, nor spent a lot of time. I think I, my first introduction with Drakengard was when they were one of those free discs that you got as like a secondary with another game. I don't even remember which one it was I bought that I was playing, but yeah, that, that's where I got introduced to Drakengard. I was introduced <laughs> to Drakengard by seeing it literally on the shelf in the game store seeing it was made by square enix seeing that you could fight fly, fly as a, on a dragon and being like hey mom can i get this and, still <laughs> and she was like uh sure it's a good game it's made by square enix they only make great games Wow. Well, that of, was true back then. A moment of silence for the back uh, then, for, for, for our our great age. great company great age <sighs> hey hey we have Kingdom the Hearts three on the. We have, we have Kingdom Hearts three in the Actually, features. Actually, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to Kingdom Hearts three. Yeah, I mean, I like oh, the I'll main numbers. The yeah, I'm, I'll play it. I have. Uh, I haven't beat Birth by Sleep. Oh well, yeah, but um, unlike Dawn, I actually have. I've beaten all every ending except the last ending of this game. I've beaten Dragon Guard two once because I'm not a huge fan of that game. They won't. and he's come close to the end of Near. I've, I've and... gotten halfway through Near. Oh, okay. I, I thought you were actually close I think, to I don't know. And well, he he has not had a chance to do Dragon Guard 3. Because um, I do it because I'm poor. Yeah, I, I own a copy of it, but... And he's hoarding I, it. I want to finish it before he does. Just so I can lord it over and be like, Ha! I beat it before you did. Just watch. I'm actually going to get a job and some money and actually bring it home and beat it before you do. That's a highly possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm terrible at beating games. Not that I can't. Oh, hey, it's our I just sister. Get, I just tend to go, like, off into my own thoughts. Oh, yeah, he's making up the sister because, well... Uh, I'll tell you later. It's, uh, actually, just... If anybody it's, watching this, just keep an eye out. Everything she says and does involving her brother. It's really, actually, uh, uh, it was very much downplayed in the English version. The Japanese version actually had it. It was in. Japanese! They, they, they tried to take it out in the English version, but if you know what they're going on, uh, then... Uh, she got a broco. Um, Brocon. Uh, uh, yeah. Brocom? Com, um, yeah. Complex, yes. With an M. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. This, this is our main character. This, uh... He's a bloodthirsty tyrant. This bad... We this, like uh, him. This psychopath, which is essentially... is just... essentially... kills. And kills. He's... I kind of love him as a, as a protagonist. Because... Well, it's like... You actually would expect this from, like, a warrior. Like, not some valiant... He's knight or not, some bullshit, but that actual, yeah. like, guy but stabs people. But it's like, literally... Furry Eye. It's, furry Eye. That's, that's the uh, name of the sister. But, like, it's literally what you expect out of a, uh, a hero of a country that's losing. Hmm. <laughs> it's, like, not like the uh, one on top where they, where they can pick their heroes and, like, actually have be someone noble. who be, like, actually, um, like, virtuous. No, this is, like... For the side that's losing, you want the guy who can kill the most people in the least amount of time. So, as we're talking about killing, though, here's one of the big things that when it came that to to convincing uh, this game. Don to play. Oh uh, well, least. what got me when I first started playing this this series, what what the demo showed me, is this game is about weapons. So many weapons. And as more let's plays will probably eventually reveal, I love. weapons weapons like i any game that gives me like a variety of them i'm just i'm obsessed with fantasy star online oh, oh yeah all over that but, but what makes this game special about the weapons is every weapon in this game has a story not only do they have their stats to it and a magic spell to go with them they also have oh, i just did it yeah. a oh, history weapon history please pause for a moment 
Read it. Read it. I'm gonna go back to the game, okay? Yeah. Ball's right now, yeah. So um, <laughs> we're gonna get get shit going because yeah. uh, we, we don't want to waste that time. Yeah, you guys, you guys are here to watch us play, not not talk like retards. <laughs> no, I they use are that in a lovely term. I'm not trying to offend anybody. <laughs> oh, Don, you know everyone's gonna be offended by us. I I tend to. Which offend yeah, people. we, I try we not really to. do. We need to work uh, on well, that. The nice honestly. thing about this game though is that uh, it's actually one of those games where. You use the uh, the joystick instead of using the D-pads. That is really nice. Which was kind of rare for the time, you know. For a PS, this is a PS2 game. Yeah, and even then, well, uh, there's still some. Oh wait, right. no, I'm being dumb. Look at PS1, all right. Yeah, you really are thinking of PS1s. Burn. Oh, Comet Dance. This is actually Time Sword is not the greatest sword. There are oh, better weapons. It'll, it'll level. It, it levels up. It gets much better near the end, I believe. Um, like when you finally fully leveled it? Actually, well, it's one of the quicker weapons to level, especially if you actually kill everyone on this map. If you kill everyone on this map, I think you can get up to level four. Dang. Like, you can max out the level. <laughs> well, I mean, I did it the one night. I almost did it the one night. When yeah, I just we to kill also, things. give it a heads up, we will probably be jumping in and out of, as I spend my time power leveling. Well, not only power leveling. I have a bad problem. I have well, not only power leveling, but there's a lot of this game, which is just like like exactly what you see right here, which is just us running around cutting things. Yeah, so we may may just speed it up by having you know like dee -dee 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 or some other yeah. kind of crap. Whatever, whatever we manage to find that's a uh, free access. <laughs> <laughs> maybe um, we can get Benny Hill in there. I don't know. Is that, is that a, is that a that's maybe fair use? I think I don't even might be an option. I think a lot of people use Jack these hacks. Um. But also, Don, if you, uh, Don, 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 if you, uh, time your hits with the, uh, shines in the, uh, I think if you triangle with the shine, um, you can, uh, actually, uh, do a special attack. Oh. Can you see how it, like... Yeah. Yeah, this, is, this game, like, rewards you for timing your hits. Yeah, which I am not doing that well. It's been a while. Give me a it's okay, dude. I'm here to help you explore this game. I was tempting on that one. Explore this is all of its blood. So much blood! Yeah. yeah. This is actually another thing, like all that gore on the ground. That's. I don't recall, unless it was like a Silent Hill game, I don't recall many many things really doing that. Yeah, I actually surprised I was allowed to play this as a child. <laughs> I, I just remember I, Diablo. I, I played this probably too young, well, like when I was too young. But strangely enough, I understood it a lot better than I should have, which is probably why I'm such a psychopath now. Hey, you mind checking my phone? Okay. Or in the phone. Okay. Let's see if a message came out. Uh, no. Okay. No. We're good. Ah, I am. I was looking down. I'm sorry. I wasn't okay. paying attention. What's going on? Oh, Are God. you dying? Actually, no. no I, I'm, I'm. Also, I will die soon. Also, the higher combos you get, the more of those um health drops that happen. Ah. Which is one of the things, I mean, one of the things I like and slightly dislike about uh, Drakengard 2 is the fact that they introduced potions. Yeah. Which is and they something that was that. really needed. And they really continued that in... Uh, Drakengard 3? Yeah, and Nier. Uh, did they continue in Nier? Yeah. Okay, I have to, I have to replay Nier. Yeah, you do. I really do. I that was actually a really cool game. I picked it up. I want to. I, so I, I need to add it to my collection. So I, I, I too own the Dragon Guard games. Coincidentally, that mine was not actually like ones that uh, I bought so much as a friend just is like, I don't want these anymore. So I got a ton of DS, PS2 games. Like, I think I own nice. half the Monster Rancher series <laughs> now because of that. Oh, thank uh, you, Nicole. <laughs> my, uh, my ex actually turned me on the Monster Rancher. Monsters uh, rule. Monster really Rancher. Do. Um, she turned me on to uh, Monster Rancher Two, which was oh, like, it's still my favorite. It's still it's one Dude, of the best in the series. I, I had Phoenix in that one. Dude, I, I got the Phoenix, man. Dude, that was, I that was, was always looking for Moo though. The entire time. Um, that's actually a game. Like, everyone shits on hairs, but, um... Dude, hairs are beasts in that on, No, dude, n dude, like, literally my first S-rank, like, was a hair? monster was a hair. I like, always went a hair tigers. that just, like, beat the shit out of everything. Yeah, I always went tigers, because they were my favorites. But, Tiger or pixie? Always well, my I, I, I don't even think it was a really special hair, either. It's like, I think it's I got, like, my hair, first... Hair? Like, I think at least A or B or A rank, at least, was just a regular-ass hair. 
Oh, there we go. I did yeah. it. Yay! That's, that's how you do it. You, like, you gotta hit it, like... If you hit the timing right, you do, like, a shockwave. And with it actually changes with each weapon. Actually. Oh, um, shit. Four yeah. coming at me from behind. It's Fire! A, it's okay. He You're just, kind of a badass. Yes. He's like, these guys are really chumps. This is it's very much in my style of what gameplay I love, because it's kind of very, like, Dynasty Warriors, where you're, like, just cutting swaths. This is... Poor, unfortunate, sappy... <laughs> like, they're, they're all like, I have two weeks till I retire type guys. Yeah, this is the, also the other thing. I could I kind of laugh about this game. Because your troops are always yelling for help, but they're and never I'm on never the battlefield. They're never gonna get it. No, they're never on the battlefield. <laughs> it's literally just you. Um, that's how much of a beast he is. Goes to the um, battlefield by himself. And that's uh, that's actually also one of the things I do appreciate from Drake and Guard 2, is that they actually added ally units. Since that you actually there was actually people like helping you. You didn't feel like, that like they were everyone just was an there. asshole. They had like the disciples or some shit like that. Whatever they, they were, they were fun. Oh, oh yeah, the party. like the knights. Yeah, you have to defeat these guys. It's like the yellow dots are on the mini map are the uh, if you plus select you can actually get the uh, regular menu. I think I had time to Press start. Start Did gets... I not hit select at all? I, I'm sorry. I'm so focused no. on just cutting a swath yeah, through no. like, human lives. Here's the thing. This even... game is a lot of fun just for like, you know what? I hate everything right now. Uh, Must I'm, I'm gonna cut kill. them all. I, I want to get out my... There's a new weapon in this map though, isn't there? In this, in this map? I don't think so. I think you get one for completing it. I mean, the first one you get is kind of a pretty crappy weapon. It's just like, like a, a gardening hoe. It's like a pig iron axe, which is like a really basic axe. Can I kill it? Oh, I did. Oh, nice. Yeah, you killed the leader. And the other leader is the other one. Oh, I know the other target there. I, I'm not looking for another target. I am looking for more. Just, I am just gonna. This, coat this poor sword in a swath of like well, red. Well, in, in all fairness, the sword just loves it. I mean, it gets more powerful the more dr blood it drinks. Oh, actually, because I can't like hold in surprise, there's actually a, a one weapon that I to this day remember the story of because it's kind of a like a really haunting story. Is actually like the biggest sword you can get in the game. It's like the slowest and like most powerful. And like as a, as you get like levels one, two, and three. It gets just kind of slower without like increasing the damage that like much. You're not doing. Uh, try like uh, square or triangle. Square is my slash triangle. Um, damage. it should have been so. Uh, oh, maybe it's just because I have to. Yeah, get maybe my you need to like first. actually. Maybe I have to get the dragon first. I don't know. Um, but um, if you actually um, oh yeah, but like the weapon was like so hard to level up. Because it, as you leveled it up, it just got slower without actually really increasing the damage until it got to its final level. But um, the storyline is what it really it got to me because it's like this this sword uh, was is like a sword that kept growing based on the uh, number of people it killed. It, like just like kept like absorb like like drinking its their blood and got like just heavier and heavier until like. One day, the king who like was wielding it, like at first wielded it, um, couldn't even pick it up anymore. It was just sort of sitting in his room. And then one day, and I guess like this is a level four story. One day, you get to the uh, the like the people check on the king, and uh, after his and, like this is like a super bloody king. Like they check on him, and the king is like slaughtered. It's just slain. And the sword. And, with the, and the sword's covered in blood. And they, and to this day, they have no idea who killed him, or even who got the into the room to kill him. Dude, it was, it was, it, the story is like actually better and better ah, written in the game, but it's like that story is just like, because like it was like a great story because it like goes you gotta you gotta dodge when they do the counter. I don't know how to dodge. I'm just slashing. Just I'm Dynasty War. Try uh, try using the shoulder buttons. Ah, maybe I should try like pressing actually, something besides kill. Actually, but it's so good. Killing is pretty much the uh, OP strategy in this game. Yeah, dodging is for bosses. These don't worry. These chumps don't uh don't actually block the counter. Oh, you just they do a lot of damage. Yeah, you can just cut through them. You're gonna get them. You're gonna get a lot of combos in this, and you're going to be able to like just 
uh, keep getting your health back up. Interesting note, when I picked this game up after a long time, I nearly died on this first level because I was trying to kill everyone on the stage. And they brought me down to one health. Because I was just like, I need to cut through everyone. Must cut them all. And that's how I nearly maxed out this sword's level <laughs> on the first stage. By doing something you're actually not supposed to. By doing something that the game didn't really know was going to happen. Well, the, I'm sure the designers actually did plan it. But uh, they but just... just enough, like, level one guys in there that you can max out the main sword. <laughs> you can max out the main sword. But they didn't actually expect anyone to actually go through the trouble of killing each one of them. You know? Wow. They just didn't <laughs> they plan didn't on carrying people like us. Yeah, Who exactly. simply must have them all die. Seriously. This is one of the reasons, also the reason why we play Pokemon. We gotta have them all. Mm -hmm. Dead or alive. I'm gonna get my tea. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking too much. You're not I'm, killing enough. I'm parching. I'm parched. There's not enough death happening. There needs to be more death gone. I'm trying. I'm trying. I've only got 156. I'm sorry. I'm so slow. But honestly, one of the things ah, I do... Ah, Bastard was just outside of the range. One of the things I do love about this game is it's got a good blend of uh, aerial and um, um, ground-based combat. And the aerial combat's actually kind of amazing in this game. Yeah, that's one thing that it's been... It's like it's not obviously not as good as something like, say, Panzer Dragoon, but... I haven't, I haven't played, good. actually, played Panzer Dragoon, which I really should. Yeah, you should. People will probably... It's a dragon. <laughs> I want to play it! <laughs> I actually didn't know about this game, that oh. game, until after it, uh, didn't, no longer existed. Right. Which makes me sad. So I love you know dragons. what I'm doing here? I'm just trying to do that. Ah, yeah, I too. actually, okay. that is, oh. That, that is an actual strategy. That's a legit strategy. I've actually used that on one of the bosses. So you can hide behind a pillar, charge up, <laughs> run into the pillar to charge up my uh, attack, and then attack through the pillar. It, uh, act... Pierce damage for the win. Pierce damage for the win. Yeah. After 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 this game, we beat this game. I'll uh, I'll tell you exactly how it formed my outlook on money. <laughs> and I'll just let you. We guys also guess. as a uh, as a hit. We we will also probably be starting doing a few other style of let's plays, not specifically video games, but uh, also board games. Oh, it's in there in the talks. I mean, you just have to record them. But yeah. Uh, yeah, the apartment would like to expand. Can you expand an apartment? For funsies, yeah. <laughs> I would say yes. Yeah, we'll just have different rooms dedicated to different things. <laughs> if someone wants to make actually make a map of the apartment as we explain it, by all means, go ahead. One of you, like, you have the indie room, which I probably has the most, uh, well, in it right definitely, now. Well, it's also the one that we have, actually, games <laughs> played in. Yeah. Like, so few of the games we've played have actually been, like, new ones. <laughs> I think yeah. I actually prefer it. Everybody's playing new games now. Everybody's got their Minecraft channels on, which we will actually probably be actually, joining Actually, I'll, I'll uh, probably be starting a, uh, building with Billy series. Yeah. I'll probably start with Gold Farm. But, uh... Gold Gold farms are something I actually haven't researched, so I don't know if they're common or not, but, um, yeah. I'll teach you guys how to make a, uh, gold farm back in anything here, or am I just literally running my ass nowhere? There is something back there. You, you, oh, can, yeah. get, you can get there. No, oh, like, God. literally, this map is... Uh, can't oh, can't go any further this way. Well, they have it rendered, but, um, you can't go further. But, you know, this, this map is huge. You, you, will, you will literally spend, like, 20 minutes trying to cross this entire ah. map. You the tree go. and the rock, they done they they have defeated me. <laughs> the most impenetrable impenetrable of barriers is the, the empty space between a tree and a rock. <laughs> their bond is so strong that it can't allow you cannot, to cannot cannot defeat it. It is that powerful. Uh I ship tree rock. <laughs> oh, I see red dots. You truck? Yes. Truck. Oh, yo oh I, I shouldn't have thrust so soon. Yeah, no, you, um... Uh, Alas, I thrust too soon. You always have that problem? Oh, not always. Yeah, no, these guys are... At, these guys will fuck you up because they'll do hit-and-run tactics. Like... Like that. that. Yeah, they'll just run you down while you're uh, fighting a bunch of other guys. See? These guys don't let you, uh... have a moment's rest. 
They're actually probably what would happen in a real army if uh, one badass was cutting down to thousands. Yeah. And literally, like, Send the while, guy on the night. while you were distracted with uh, small guys, um, the small guys would part to let the horses try to run you down. Real army tactics. Real army on. tactics. We're giving you history lessons while we game. Be afraid. Here's, here's, we may actually know a thing or two. We might actually not know Hint, a thing or two. We don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hint, uh, no. One of the things, also one of the things you should know. Oh, come back here. I'm not going to let you get away again. One of the things you should also know. Ah. Uh, do you see how. Some, oh, 200. Sweet. Do you see how some of them have the uh, special dots over them and some of them have smaller? Those uh, special dots are squad leaders. Yeah, if you kill them, it like lowers the. Uh, it lowers the rest of the ex EXP for everyone else. So if you kill the squad leader last, you get the most EXP. But the uh, other guys are harder to beat. To defeat. So if you kill squad leader first, then uh, the uh, rest of the guys I are easier. Am. You are bad at timing those thrusts. I really am. And someone's shooting fire arrows at you. Ah, fire arrows. Dude, fire bad. The archers and the magic guys and the anti-magic guys are just OP against the dragon. Yeah, they, well they're OP period. I remember what. I don't remember watching you. You're like just getting decimated by them. I'm yeah, like, no, I they're like sitting there going like, "Dang, dude!" You have to if at this level, at, at least at, especially at the first level, you have to have like oh, you have to be for tactics in order to get anywhere near the archers and not get just fucking wrecked by them. Aha! <laughs> Fear the side bursts. <laughs> I'd like how the enemies are colored for you. Though. Yes, I it's know very helpful. Color. Very helpful to identify who to stab. Who, who, we, who we need to stab and who not to stab. And who not to uh, fire as an honor dragon. Because that is one of the things that will... Because uh, when you're you know 200 feet in the air on the back of a dragon, it's hard to see who to shoot. Yeah, unless they're like big splotches of red. Yeah. Don't fire. No, don't. Don't, splo don't fire don't the red. Don't splotch on don't fires. <laughs> don't splotch the red guys. It will just be bad times. Gonna have a bad time. Gonna have a worse, the worst time. I forgot how incessant this music was. Then again, I didn't really care as a kid because I was just so focused on killing everyone and getting, yeah. and being bloodthirsty. It's definitely the thing is uh, hearing the same music over and over and over. Oh shit! Why is there no forward roll? Why is there always a back roll? Because you got the dodging side to side is more important than a dodging. He's not dodging forward, side to side. He's dodging. Forward. Oh, he is dodging side to side. If you I press the other, I thought it was a. If you press the other shoulder, he'll go the other way. And that's how you can get close to them. Well, by not being a do a do a do me. A do me. A do me. Are you trying to say I'm dumb? No. Ah, okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> get the I'm just getting fuck out of there. I'm just getting done with these guys. <laughs> oh god, uh, I actually have to learn that quote from John Tron. Get, get, yeah, yeah, get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of your shit. That was honestly my. That's literally my favorite ah! quote from John Tron's ah, uh, you bastards. Smoke series. Is a uh, nice yeah, good fireball. I actually did something right. You fireballed them. Oh yeah, and th another thing I do love is all the weapon spells are completely di are like extremely different. Yeah. Like I mean, there's some like that have like sound kind of similar. Was that like, literally just attacking a thing that had no relation whatsoever to the actual thing? Yeah, you're you're completely off the uh, main quest. Right oh now. my gosh, awesome! I thought I was actually coming back to where I needed to be. Damn it. <laughs> uh, you might be getting <laughs> you Slowly might be getting get closer to where you need to go, only in the fact that you're in the corner. Right now, and you're kind of working your way back towards the castle. Dear God. <laughs> Maybe inadvertently working your way back to the beginning. Gotta get those combos up, for son. They keep actually tagging me and bothering me. Gotta get so good. Much. Okay, you cannot die in this first level. No, I will not die in this first level. I may get close, but I'm not going to die. Also, one of the things. Famous that last words. You do, I do like. Uh, you can. Uh, you can tr you can sometimes tag like the dead bodies uh, to get up the uh, to get up the combo, combo enough to get to the next squad.
This is a lot kind of function. So, Don, promising right now, are we going to get 100% of the weapons? Ah, uh, I want to say yes. Uh, we might not. Uh, we might not do it like immediately as we go through. Because we may actually have to. There's like, like off camera stuff because there's all. There's like a thousand different weapons, I think. At least I have that a few hundred. Like at least a few hundred. Like that. There's, there's a lot. More than three hundred, I think. There's a like there's a literal fuck ton of weapons. I've gotten them a all. Metric fuck ton. I've literally gotten all the weapons. Have not leveled them all up because uh, that last one was a son of a bitch to get. If you if you uh, actually 100 percented the uh, weapons in this, you know which one I'm talking about. That one that's in that like one map that's like not an actual combat map, but it's, like all the way in the corner. Yeah, you know that one. That stupid ass weapon. But that's the one you need to unlock the last ending. You know he's just sort of talking now, right? I just want to make sure point out to everybody that's listening. I love Drake Guard. <laughs> I love this game so much. You literally have no idea how. I mean, I can. You don't even it. know. You don't even know. I will. Oh, shit. I will completely admit to a nostalgia goggling over this. Ah. Uh, this game. Uh, Come on, Don. Uh, get good. I just saw the horde that's right behind there too. <laughs> Come on, take him on. Take him like a man. I will. Let me just get a nice cart, nice wheeling roundabout. Uh, I think you can also use um, charge. Gotcha. You uh -huh. can also use the. Um, I think some of the buttons turn the camera around. So, um, that's another thing to keep in mind. Or at least uh, refocus the camera behind you. Ah! Spell! Ah, there we go. Oh, the spells will. Well, sometimes they will. Sometimes spells will just kind of go up and... Also, Ooh. I found the, uh... This could just be me because I never switched, like, members ever. But the party members that you get, I found kind of useless. <laughs> because Probably because I don't ever switch to anyone, because I just, like... If, if I get another option, so I I'm just imagining how many thing. people are watching this who have played this game and going like, Wow, are you sure? No, there, there's probably a lot of people looking... Oh, up. there's a guard. Yeah, there is a guard. A, a Draken guard? Uh, uh, actually, all the people watching us who have played this game before... Probably are like, why are you going around to all the enemies before you get the dragon? Get the dragon first, guys! Fine! Get the uh, dragon! Uh, and then for everyone not playing this, it's like, why the fuck are you just running around killing people? I was wondering why I'm this? just running around. I have a, I have a problem, okay? I'm trying to see a dragon therapist about <laughs> it. <laughs> no, you have a problem with killing. I have no problem, I have the problem with the dragons. <laughs> I like dragons, guys. He really does. He's got a thing for them. You're a freak. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, enemies keep kind of respawning. Though. No. No, they don't. There are no respawns. Where are these guys coming from? <laughs> uh, when you get the map, you'll see ah, all the groups of uh, enemies. Ah. When you uh, get the map, you'll see how many groups of enemies are actually on this map. There's no respawns. There's just a ton of enemies. Like, literally, there's like over a thousand enemies on this one map. And yes, uh, one day I nearly tried killing them all uh, at this first level with this one sword. Before you even get to level up. So that's the thing, is that you don't, your weapon doesn't even level up till after you've beaten a mission. Yeah. In between missions, oh, everything what the levels. Heck? I got him. Yeah, no, you, uh, you're kind of chumping it up. Seriously. I will expend all the fireballs on you. Uh, I don't know if there's an actual More counter mechanic in this game the for uh, the main character. There's definitely the block I just found. I don't. I think you might be able to counter. Ah, fudge! Didn't see that enough time. You and your little like that's barely a, clipping that's, me. That's bullshit. also the thing I ha uh, do hate about this game is that the enemy when the enemies hit you, they, it's like. There there's a huge here. penalty for getting hit in this game. Yeah, whereas theirs, they just can keep winding up and shit. There you go. That's yeah, uh, <laughs> yes. I am, un I am well aware. This is, it doesn't mean after I'm good at I it. Uh, this is what I taught him. doesn't mean I'm good at it. 
that one. Yeah, for this one, it's a shockwave. Other weapons will have, like, um, this, like, uh, this one has, has like, a radial shockwave. Other ah, ones have, like, uh, and they actual, can interrupt me. like, focused beam. Yeah, they can interrupt you during that. Um, some of them. Yeah, every, and, uh, also the shockwaves level up as you level up the weapon. The finishing blows. Yeah, they level up, too. It's, it's great. I mean, uh, oh, shit, and it's a knight. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, try and get some of these guys away from me. Oh shit! I actually do love these enemies as well. You'll you'll understand better later why they're all kind of uniform. Well, aside from the fact that they're an army, <laughs> and armies have uniforms. But uh, do they? <laughs> oh, you bastard! I forgot Kaim had a voice. Protect her. It was. Protect Furiai. It was awesome. And <laughs> now we finished the mission. Right. About an hour. Only in. yeah, like how. Oh, my ass take. Like, what should have been like a... 44 minutes. What yes. should have been like a, uh, like a five minute mission, probably. 